From their humble beginnings back in 2002 to now being worth, at the time of writing, an estimated $74 billion, it's been quite the rise for SpaceX. With Elon Musk being the face of the hopeful galactic adventuring company, SpaceX has created an astonishing amount of technology in a short amount of time. And today, we're going to explore it. We've selected some of the firm's biggest and most successful creations so far. We'll see what they do as well as the huge costs behind them. There's also the big contract SpaceX has won for their technological marvels. We have rockets, spacecrafts, satellites, and more. So let's get started. SpaceX's earliest success was with the Falcon 1 rocket. The two-stage orbital launch device was first officially announced in 2006. That same year, they undertook a mission from the U.S. Air Force to launch a satellite with the Falcon 1. This was part of a $100 million contract for the firm to send devices into space for the Air Force. However, the mission from Amalek Island was unsuccessful. According to Musk, the cost of launching the Falcon 1 was capped at $6.7 million at the time. A later variation, the Falcon 1E had an increased launch price of $10.9 million in 2010. It wouldn't be until the fourth attempt at launching that the original Falcon 1 managed to take to the skies in 2008. According to NASA, in 2010, the development cost for the Falcon 1 was around $90 million. Because of its eventual success, this allowed SpaceX to develop more advanced tech with the mission to take the public into space. With the goal of lobbing humans into space, a spacecraft is needed to help keep them safe. So, SpaceX created the Dragon. This reusable capsule is able to carry seven people. To date, it's been involved in 27 launches. In 2010, it made history of being the first commercial spacecraft to get astronauts to the International Space Station. Back in 2006, SpaceX, along with other firms, won a contract from NASA as part of the Commercial Orbital Transportation Services. This allowed SpaceX to develop the Dragon further, with around $278 million from an overall $500 million contract. As part of NASA's Commercial Crew Program, up until 2019, SpaceX had received $3.14 billion toward the Dragon capsule. Since it's reusable, the launch price is also very low in comparison. In 2019, NASA was paying around $86 million per seat for use of Russia's three-person Soyuz spacecraft, whilst SpaceX's Dragon was estimated to be $55 million per seat. Most of the sky-high costs of space travel is down to the lack of reusable rockets. Well, SpaceX wanted to change that by creating the Falcon 9. In 2015, it became the first first stage of a rocket to return and complete a vertical landing. Development on the rocket began in 2005. To date, the Falcon 9 has had 122 launches with 82 landings. With NASA looking to replace the Space Shuttle program in 2008, a contract was awarded to SpaceX. They would use the Falcon 9 and Dragon capsule to resupply the ISS for 12 flights at the cost of $1.6 billion. But the agreement had the option to be extended to take the contract's value up to $3.1 billion. NASA even stated in 2011 that if they were the ones developing a rocket like the Falcon 9, it would have cost them $4 billion. In 2013, SpaceX stated the cost to launch Falcon 9 for each mission came to $56.5 million. Speaking of reusable space devices, SpaceX created the Autonomous Spaceport Drone Ship. Essentially, it's a large deck barge that has a massive landing pad on top. This was to help with returning vessels that didn't have enough fuel to reach land. The collection of drone ships had names inspired from the works of sci-fi author Ian M. Banks. The first ship was called Just Read the Instructions. Back in 2014, SpaceX's Gwen Shotwell hoped that the price of reusable rockets would eventually drop between $5 to $7 million per launch. During 2016, it was believed these drone ships could help cut the launch price of Falcon 9 from $61.2 million to $42.8 million a fall of 30%. The drone ships were formed under SpaceX's reusable launch system development program. It also included netting to help catch the fairings. 
In 2017, Musk valued the payload fairings at $6 million, which was often lost at sea. In order to create a launch vehicle capable of taking a heavier payload, the Falcon Heavy was created. This partially reusable rocket had its first flight in 2018, but had been on the minds of SpaceX's engineers since 2003. It essentially has the power of three Falcon 9s. Back in 2013, it was estimated that the cost of launching the Falcon Heavy with up to 6.4 tons of goods would cost $77.1 million. Anything heavier would make it $135 million. Later in 2018, Musk claimed a full-capacity Falcon Heavy would cost $150 million to launch. According to reports, that was $250 million cheaper than the competition. That same year, the Falcon Heavy received Air Force certification and brought in a contract for $130 million in order to deploy the Air Force Space Command 52 satellite. In 2019, reports believed that the eight total missions for the rocket at that time had a value of between $500 to $750 million. Looking to go one better than the Falcon Heavy, we have the Starship that's slated to be fully reusable. This vessel will have a first stage booster called Super Heavy and the second stage Starship. It went into development back in 2016. One of its main missions is to be able to send humans and equipment off to colonize Mars. During 2019, Musk claimed that the system will use around $900,000 of fuel to just leave Earth. He believed operational costs would be around $2 million at the time, which is a drop in the ocean when compared to most launch costs. In 2020, SpaceX, along with other firms, were selected to design and develop human landing systems for the Artemis project. This mission is for NASA's return to the moon. The original worth of the contract for all the companies involved was $967 million for a 10-month period. By 2021, only one company was selected, SpaceX with Starship. For developing the vehicle and two flights, NASA awarded them a contract worth $2.89 billion. Beyond rockets, SpaceX has also been developing a satellite internet constellation named Starlink since 2015. The plan is to send up 42,000 satellites to form Starlink and allow the world access to high-speed internet. In 2019, the project officially got underway with the launch of 60 satellites. In 2018, during a TED Talk, Gwen Shotwell stated that she believes Starlink will cost SpaceX at least $10 billion. In order to make back some of that cash, during 2019, SpaceX signed a $28 million contract with the Air Force to test the ways the military could use Starlink. Then in 2019, the Federal Communications Commission awarded the company $885.5 million in subsidies due to Starlink. To further fund the project, SpaceX began looking for funding. Up until April 2021, the company reportedly gathered around $6 billion in equity. Final fact finish! The most expensive space mission of all time is NASA's Space Shuttle program. Starting back in 1972, the program didn't come to an end until 2011. With 135 formal launches, each mission on average is said to have cost the space agency $450 million. By 2011, the program is estimated to have cost upwards of $196 billion. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.